Hello everyone, uh, my name is Anastasia Bafunikota and today I'm going to talk to you about the way that we can evaluate the UAM impacts on a city via a framework of uh, UAM Smart City Indicators. Well, first of all, a few words about who we are, who is Future Needs. Uh, Future Needs is an interdisciplinary small-medium enterprise active in the field of social, science and humanities research. Well, our team collaborates across social science and technology in order to bring insights from each to innovative solutions and sound policy. Our expertise includes uh, policy advice and technical assistance on reform and moder modernization of local, regional and national strategies while promoting synergies between all government levels. Also, it includes qualitative and quantitative social and business research, support services to organizations working with vulnerable groups and individuals, support or organizations in managing EU structural funds and projects promoting regional development. We also provide design and delivery of customized VET programs. And lastly, uh, science dissemination and communication activities and community building. But now let's get to the point. Currently, UM implementation progresses in a chaotic way. Joint technology and its use is ahead of relevant city level regulation. At least this is the case for most uh, planning and mon monitoring activities of UAVs in most cities in the world. Well, uh, the aim of this project uh, from our side is to develop an, an assessment framework that would be able to capture this impact of medical UM implementation and validate it with the city of Aachen. But how are we going to do it? We're going to do it via developing a set of sustainable urban air mobility indicators. So, as I already mentioned, uh, we need this set of indicators to track the implementation of progress and to establish city-level regulation processes. But on top of that, we need to use indicators for two more reasons. First of all, to assess the impact of various UM implementation options on the city before launching UM at scale and prepare a good plan. And secondly, to monitor and evaluate the impact on a city after the UM implementation. As already mentioned by Julian, it is important to look at the practitioner's briefing report from UIC2 regarding UAM and SAMP that emphasized a lot on the importance of integrated UAM into the SAMP process. So our framework will be aligned with the SAMP's methodology already being implemented by cities in Europe, but that's the case for other modes of transport, uh, in order to enable faster uh, acceptance and operationalization of the indicators. But now the question is, what is SAMP's? SAMP stands for Sustainable Urban Mobility Plan Process. So, as the UM journey has just only begun, the four phases of the SAMP cycle have not yet been performed entirely in the field of UAM. So, a comprehensive SAMP has to incorporate the ground infrastructure that is needed for UM services, as well as the interfaces with other ground infrastructure. This includes, for example, places for safe uh, takeoff and landing, of the UM aircraft, such as vertiports or drone pads, uh, the parking of aircrafts, the charging infrastructure, as well as the required air traffic control, control infrastructure and communications. So, as you can see, the four phases of the SAM cycle include preparation and analysis, strategy development, measure planning, implementation, and monitoring. So, um, the idea is by interrelating UAM and the SAM concept. The planning entities active in the field of UAM are inspired to integrate UAM planning into an existing SAMP framework. The eight principles of SAMP include planning for sustainable mobility in the functional city, cooperating across institutional boundaries, involving citizens and stakeholders, assessing current and future performance, defining a long-term vision and a clear implementation plan, developing all transport modes in an integrated manner, arranging for monitoring and evaluation, and lastly, assuring quality. So, as cities and urban areas continue to develop SAMs uh, and they work towards EU policy goal, it is important for this progress to be documented to ensure that such achievements become visible. Sustainable air mo mobility indicators, or else SUMI, are a useful tool for cities and urban areas to identify the strengths and the weaknesses of their mobility system and to focus on areas for improvement. So according to the SUM report from the European Commission in 2020, these core indicators could include affordability of public transport for the poorest group, accessibility of public transport for mobility-impaired groups, air pollutant emissions, noise hydrants, road jets, 
access to mobility services, greenhouse gas emissions, congestion and delays, energy efficiency, opportunity for active mobility, multimodal integration, satisfaction with public transport, and traffic safety active models. There are also a few non-core indicators that could be quality of public spaces, urban functional diversity, commuting travel time, mobility space usage, and security. So these indicators will be used on the context of medical UAM and both freight and passengers will be taken into consideration. For example, we expect road deaths, one of the indicators, to minimize since the probability of a drone being responsible for a, job, for a, for a road death is like very small. This is also the case for congestion and delays. We expect minimized congestion and delays compared to other means of urban mobility. Lastly, air pollution is also expected to be, for most part, a positive aspect of UAM in contrast with other types of mobility which are negatively associated with emissions. In any case, uh, these indicators are practically, um, they represent all these questions that we need to ask ourselves during this research. So let's take a look on what has already been done in the direction of UM indicators aligned with SAMS. Again, according to the practitioner's briefing from UIC2, we can have two levels of indicators. The high level of, ind of indicators from SUMI that should be treated more or less as fixed. And then we have the lower level indicators which could be developed to address UM related activities. And in these presentations, as you can see, they're called SWAMI from Sustainable Urban Air Mobility Indicators. So, the study of these indicators is useful in the degree that they manage to quantify the following dimensions. Safety and security of operations, social aspects like quality of life and accessibility, the environment, social acceptance, social benefits, integration with existing surface mobility services, and the economy. These dimensions, more or less, I don't know, maybe you have noticed this already, but they also appear in SAMP. However, here we can see a grouping based more on the societal dimensions of the topic. And this is how we find them more often in publications and in literature. This is practically an attempt to combine uh, the two worlds, the sustainable urban mobility planning with the academic approach of, soci of so societal dimensions and impact of UAM in order to make sure that in the study every aspect will be taken into account. And the last question is, how are we doing all this? We're working with a network of stakeholders and experts in each dimension that will assist us in the process of, first of all, developing the indicators to cover aspects of medical use drones. Second, developing a realistic method for tracking values of each indicator. For example, this method could be a technical method. Um, we could track a variable via sensors. This could be very useful for sound, for example or a social sciences method. We could use uh, surveys or feedback forms. Also, we will, we will be validating these indicators with the city of Aachen on usability and applicability. Documentation and communication of feedback will also take place. And lastly, we have the development of a roadmap with next steps. So that was all from me. This is our social media. If you would like to learn more about what we're doing in this project, and thank you very much for your attention. And I don't know if you have a few minutes for <laughs> questions, but you can also find me later uh, at the booths. Thank you very much.